It would appear that you're my new partner. You only need to follow three rules. You obey my every command. And if you have a problem with it, I'll kill you. You don't die or I kill you. And you definitely don't die protecting me or I'll kill you. Good. Mm. But I can't shake the feeling you're not even paying attention. Not even respecting things, huh? Must I teach you? Must I lose you before I even know you? You won't even last a day like this. I hope you're aware. Don't care still. It's very clear you've never stared down a devil trying to kill you. So, perhaps showing you will get you off that stupid game. <sighs> Playing Genshin Impact, huh? Yes, I'm something of a whale myself. It's some way to pass the time, isn't it? You... You can actually... Focus on that. <laughs> I almost don't have time for it anymore. Between responsibilities... And... Necessities... There's almost no time for anything else. You aren't listening to a thing I said, are you? It's almost a shame. You were looking like you might be promising at the start. No, I lied. You were pathetic from the very beginning. Got a problem with it? Your eyes. You finally paid attention to me. Well, if I have to treat you with a bit more stern nature, you won't mind, right? Since you lack any form of discipline whatsoever. Come at me first. Unless, of course, you're too scared and pathetic. It's almost laughable how easily I can get under your skin. How useless. Come on. If you don't like the words, do something about it, coward. <laughs> hmm. If I had to judge you, I'd give you negative five out of ten. Pathetic. You think power like that is enough for devils? Brace yourself and clench your teeth. This might just hurt a little. You're still conscious, aren't you? Good. You didn't bite your tongue off either. That's not bad for a first take of my punch. You see, I'm not like you. These fists have the weight of those I've lost. I never forget them. I can't. When someone dies on the job, who else will remember them? We're usually not remembered in the fondest light. Even if we die heroes, nobody cries for us. <sighs> but it seems like my words are wasted on you. Perhaps you should clench your jaw again. Just a fair warning. What? You stopped me without even stopping your Genshin gameplay. That shouldn't be possible. <sighs> so that's what they meant. You're not a human at all. You're just one of them. Guess I don't have a reason to worry about breaking your bones, do I? Devil. And what kind are you, anyways? If you're going to be my partner, well... I won't hold back. <laughs> you're... pretty strong. Not a fair fight, huh? I'm kind of used to that. <laughs> What's with that look? I don't have time for it. Get that shit-eating grin off your face. Yeah, you heard me. I think you look stupid mimicking a human. What's with those eyes? Enough. Get up. We're going to go kill a devil. Don't have any opposition. Do you? <sighs> Good. The rules still apply, even to you. I know you're always plotting something. This is just a warning, but know your place. Don't even 
Try it. You're not listening at all. <sighs> Do you ever shut up? Or is it just in your nature? Are you the devil of annoyance? <laughs> Could have fooled me. What? Get away. You're, you're too close. Don't give me those eyes. Why are you looking scared right now? You have no right to be scared. Stop. Unhand me. Unhold me. Whatever I need to do. Why do you seem so cuddly? We're here to kill a devil. You, you look scared, but fine. You can hold my hand. That's as far as I'm going. Do I make myself clear? Ah, I need to stay calm. But someone insists on getting on my last nerve. Whatever. You are not a human. You should have no trouble surviving, right? Just do what you're supposed to. Yes, that. Put the game down. Put the game down. Look out! What did I tell you? You idiot. You almost got us killed. It's some kind of whip-like attack. Its arms seem to fold like paper. Now's not the time to be looking for your phone. Hey, you've got to move. Take this serious. One wrong move and... It's because you didn't move. You were too busy looking for your game. That obsessed. You're not even being careful. I'm fine, it's just a scratch. No focus already, you damn devil. If I have to yell at you again, I won't accept you as my partner as long as I live. Which, judging by this, won't be very long if we can't focus. This one's way more dangerous than I thought. <sighs> focus and keep your distance. It has roughly a 30 meter range. We can more or less figure that out from its first and second attack. Stay focused. You go right, I'll go left. Use ranged attacks if you can. If it looks dangerous, don't go further. Say you understand. <sighs> you little... What? There's no way. Are you kidding me right now? Where did the devil go? Why is it gone? What's the meaning of this? Explain now. Huh? I don't understand. You're not making any sense. Pointing at your phone doesn't tell me anything. Christ. So you won the roll. Congratulations. What does that have to do with this? Where's the devil? Why? Is there a devil keychain that looks like the... You... You turned it... Into a keychain. Give... Give me a moment. Just what kind of partner did you partner me with? No, that's not going to work on me this time. I've told you a million times I don't like working with devils. A and this one isn't normal. Still playing on that goddamn phone. What do you mean I sound like a boomer? You... You, you hung up? Fuck. <sighs> Yes, that was me complaining about you. Got a problem with it? <laughs> Still smiling at me? What are you doing, huh? My wound? It's nothing. Why do you look so sad? You're a devil. Act like it. Hey, who gave you permission to... <sighs> if you're going to cuddle up like that, then fine. Whatever. I guess we're comrades, huh? No. What am I saying? You're doing something to my mind, aren't you? Get away from me. Why did you get closer? Insufferable little. What did I tell you? This is a direct order. Unhand my torso. Get your arms away from me. My abs? Hey, what are you doing? Rubbing against my abs. I... 
You want me to kill you, don't you? Disobeying a direct order? I think I recall telling you at the start. I would kill you for that. <laughs> you really messed me up. I don't care about you. You're not supposed to get attached to somebody in less than an hour. You already knew me. So what? Why would I care? You're a devil. Act like it. Idiot, that doesn't mean snuggle. I'm not some kind of cuddly stuffed toy. Get your hands off me. Uh, why did HQ make you my new partner? Why? Who up there is on my case? I... Uh, yeah, you're my partner for now. As soon as I'm able to, I'll get myself a human partner. Don't look so sad about that. I order you to stop looking so sad. You look like an idiot this way. There, I said it how it is. S what? You... I... I'm not. I'm just frustrated. How else am I supposed to deal with you? If I get violent with you, you're more physically strong than me. I... I said I would tolerate it. But you're just... So annoying. So, you're not going to let me go until I agree to a date with you, huh? Why a date? I'm a human. You're a devil. We mix like oil and water. You really think I would get along with you, don't you? Wishful thinking. I would never get along with a devil. You're out of your mind. Look, if you want to try in vain, if you want to waste both of our times, I'll let you try once. But I'll just tell you up front, there's no way I would care about a devil. You're a tool. Of course, I'm grateful you're on our side, but that doesn't change the fact that we're different. You don't actually expect us to get along, do you? <sighs> of course you do. Well... I'll just be the bearer of disappointment then. Go ahead. Take me on your date or whatever. <laughs> Squeezing too tight, idiot. <laughs> Trying to kill me? You really are working for them, aren't you? You're trying to annoy me until I retire. Is that it? At least you're not completely useless. I'll give you that, and that alone. What? Why do you look like you just received accolades? I told you, you're useful, fine. That doesn't make you human. And why would I tell you anything about myself when I have no plans of creating an interpersonal relationship? That's like telling a dog your life story. There's no purpose in it. I could waste your time and you could waste mine. I'm letting you do this to prove a point. I don't care about you, and you shouldn't care about me. We're merely work colleagues. That's it. <laughs> well, excuse me for not knowing you were a human-shaped devil. Had I known that, I would have never worded it that way. I... <sighs> never mind. I'm wasting my breath. Why would you ask me what I think about you when you know? Haven't I made it abundantly clear? I think nothing of you. You're my partner, and you're a tool for a job. No different than a paintbrush to an artist. Yes, paintbrushes can't talk. And they don't have feelings, you're correct. But what makes you think I would believe for a second you have feelings? Devils are like animals. Why would you be different? Because you play Genshin Impact? Because you squeeze to me and cling to me like I'm a stuffed animal? None of that changes anything. You're just like the rest of them. I refuse to believe otherwise. Why are you so insistent? Why? You don't 
know me like that. <sighs> it's a bunch of emptiness. Like your head. Yeah, got a problem? Right now, I think you're just empty-brained, thinking and saying what you want. And judging by things, neither brains or brawns are your strong suit. Gimmicks are. Isn't it obvious? I'm telling you how it is. There's no harsh words if it's the truth. You agree? I'm almost shocked that you're so willing to admit your mistakes. You're different than most devils I've ever met. Don't think this changes anything. It absolutely does not. And I'd rather hug a brick wall. Prove it. How would I... Fine, I'll hug the brick wall. You're still hugging me. Get off of me. I, I can't... You're just using my words against me at this point. <sighs> So, other than being an insufferable, clingy, and extremely odd devil, what do you do in your spare time, huh? You want me to ask questions about you too, don't you? Your eyes basically beg for it. I suppose I'm inclined to know who my partner is, outside of work, blah blah blah. I don't really care, devil. But you might as well tell me. You'll show me? Fine, I'll follow you. If it'll make you realize your efforts are fruitless. <laughs> Must you squeeze so tight? It's not like I'm praising you, if anything. It's the opposite. So you're not completely useless, but you can't take orders for shit. It's embarrassing, honestly. Why don't you seem... Even slightly embarrassed. Stop looking at me like that. You're just... <laughs> hopeless. You know, it's almost like you expected me to say you're cute, except... I would never say that. No. I refuse to. If I ever say it, I'll eat my socks right in front of you. Yep, that's how sure I am. I guess I'll ask you again. Do you have a problem with that? And are we getting near where we're supposed to see what you do with your time? I will admit, I'm curious to what a devil would do with their free time. I should have known better. Gotcha, machines, huh? And something else? Oh, so you're taking care of the wildlife now? I suppose you think I'm going to take sympathy and suddenly develop feelings for you because you're taking care of cats. Well, I'm afraid that's just a pipe dream, and you'd have to be in some kind of stupid little story for that to work. Don't get your hopes up. I told you from the start, I'm not exactly interested. You're barking up the wrong tree. That's all. It's almost impressive how you're still smiling like an idiot. Do you really think I'm going to change? <clears throat> yeah, take care of the cats, whatever. Is it the gotcha machines or the cats? I don't know which one you're looking for. Yeah, they're cute or whatever. Hmm? Tell me then, why should I care about you more than I do? What makes you think you're so special? What makes you any different than those devils that kill people? Is it because you're taking care of cats or playing gotcha? Which is it? Or is it just because... You helped me take care of the devil today, and you're my new partner. Tell me, devil. You have a name, do you? <laughs> I might remember it. So I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't usually remember. <laughs> what are you doing? You're picking me up. This is embarrassing. Put me down already. Down, heel. Bad devil, bad. Yes, you have a name, but you're picking me up right now. I didn't say I wanted a hug. <sighs> Stop squeezing so much. <clears throat> you little. I ought to beat you up for this. Why waste the energy? 
Why do you seem to like me so much anyways? It makes no sense. Because I'm your partner? You looked up the meaning of partner. That's it? What kind of backwards devil are you? What kind of purpose do you serve being an idiot who hugs people too tight? Or is it just the fact that you have no idea what you're doing, completely disregarding anything else, and just being an idiot who has stupid motives? Can't really tell if I've hit it right on the head or you're just stubborn. Whichever it is, I don't really care. Just do your job and keep your distance. No, no, not like that. Jesus, you really are hopelessly in love with touching. Is that what you like to do? Does it give you power somehow? Or are you just trying to get under my skin? What is it, devil? You can't just smile at someone and expect them to understand. Is that because you've had no excuse at social contact or just pathetic? Didn't I tell you, if you're useless, I'll kill you? Hmm? Do you just want me to beat you up? Is that it? Uh, you make no sense. That happy over winning a gotcha, over squeezing me? I don't understand you. Is it just you like being pathetic or something else? Hey, I, I never said I wanted to cuddle with pets. You sure do have a lot of them. Why is your apartment just a room full of gotchas? Hmm? Well, that's a useful piece of information. I guess you need them to make use of your power. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm? What's this? Does it have something to do with your power? A gift? <laughs> Who said I wanted a gift? I didn't ask for this. Don't you think I'm ungrateful because of this? It's not even because of that at all. It's because you don't seem to understand. There's a distance between us, a difference between us. You're not human. You're different. Why that matters? Of course it matters. You're part of the problem. You were one of them. Like an enemy that I have to hold close like a friend. Huh? No. You... You can't just oversimplify big things like that. You're a devil. You don't even see me the way I see you. Differences? Then why would I think we're not so different? Hmm... <laughs> Just keep spouting nonsense. I'll pretend I'm listening. Oh, sorry. Do you not want me to pretend? Does it get under your skin? No, of course not. I'm beginning to think nothing gets under your skin, which I'm almost impressed about, but equally somewhat frightened. I'll give it to you. You're quite incredible how resilient your psyche is. Do you just enjoy verbal beatings? Are you perhaps the devil of the fear of verbal beatings? Well, whichever type of devil you are, I almost feel bad for picking on you like this, but we're different. There needs to be difference, distinction. You could eat me in your sleep. I don't know. You've also got a scary power. What if you turned me into one of those? The keychain. What you did to that devil earlier? You've got so many of them. Looks to be about 30 of them on your keychain. So you've been collecting them. Interesting. At least you've been ridding the world of the dangerous ones. I'll give you that. You're a cut above most devils in that way. Now if only you weren't so annoying. It'd be so much easier to deal with you. Yeah. You're insufferable. If I had to say something, it would be that you just don't know when to quit, when to give up, as if your single purpose is to get on my nerves, trying to bridge a gap that will never be bridged. You know, even if I did like you, 
even if it were possible, were a human and a devil, you think that would work out? Really? You really think that? <laughs> Naivety is a sin, you know. So I guess for a devil like you, it's just a long laundry list of other things. The things that I'd like to not have happen on a daily basis. That's why I went on this day with you. To prove that even a date won't choose something, won't change something, and won't change my heart. Why exactly are you so stubborn anyways? You've said a lot of things about yourself. I just find that you haven't really explained why. Why me? And if I'm curious? Hmm? Yeah, I am. Why wouldn't I be? At least it passes the time, and it's sooner that I'll get away from you. And once again, you're clinging to me. Watch the strength. Watch the strength. <sighs> Must you always? Is it really that good? Squeezing me like that. I swear, you really do think you have a chance, don't you? Pathetic. Though I guess I can't blame you. It must be lonely having so many enemies. Devils don't like you. Humans don't either. <laughs> well, I can't say I don't understand you. It's just there's a major difference between us. A difference you can never really bridge. You can't even hope to. That's right. Give up on it. Give up on making me care about you. Right now. No, no. Not like that. Why do you look so happy? You're more resilient to this than I thought. Do you understand that I'm insulting you right now? Or has it all just gone over your head? I can't tell. But either way, you have to understand your place. No, it, it doesn't mean to... You, you're gonna kill me with cuddles, aren't you? Is that your secret plan? And what's with the gift anyways? Isn't this like super rare? Hmm? You want me to have it? Really? Well, I guess I can humor you that much. It's so tight again. <coughs> I can't tell if you're trying to kill me or you just think that I want that. Either way. Fine. You want to lay on my lap? Then do it. I'll sit here. And you can do that much. The only reason why I'm agreeing to it is if you're on my lap laying down, I can at least keep you in check from squeezing me anymore. Your cuddles are a little strong. You're a devil after all. If you wanted to, you could probably snap my back like a twig. No, I'd never let you get the chance. I'd devour you with... Never mind. Where? Where did you learn that? Don't die, Aki. You sound like someone I used to know for just a moment. No, it's impossible. That person I knew was a human. A very good human. I... No, it's nothing. P pretend I, I said nothing. That's an order. Hmm? Don't look at me so curious. Huh? Nothing, just the past. Remember when I said it? That I never forget my comrades? Sometimes that's difficult. You too. Wait, I thought I was your first partner. Did you lie to me? Hmm? Didn't feel like saying it. I see. So you're just a filthy liar, huh? You just want me to beat you up or something? You know, giving you a lap pillow like this, I could punch you in the face so easily. 
It would make me laugh. <sighs> and once again, you don't seem like you're nervous at all. As if you're on cloud nine, smiling like that. Though I think that smile makes me want to hate you more. Should I? Should I punch you right in the nose? You're just smiling like you want me to. You make no sense. I don't get it. What do you expect me to feel for you? What do you want from me? Is it really just you like being near me? What a simple fool you are. Why would you get so close to someone who doesn't even see you as as an equal? You're you're an imbecile. You're beyond stupid. How dare you make me reminded of someone I lost. You're a lot warmer than them, which is almost unsettling. But somehow, it's like you. <sighs> yeah, I ordered you to forget, and then I backtracked on that. Just ignore it. It's not really worth your time to begin with. And I guess you're not completely insufferable. Just mostly. You have maybe one redeeming quality, and if I had to guess, maybe 250 irredeemable ones. You only paid attention to the first part, didn't you? <sighs> Why are your hands so warm anyways? Aren't your hands supposed to be cold? Devils don't have warm blood, do they? Strange. I always took you for monsters, and you are. But you don't feel like one. Are you sure you're a devil? What? Really? No. No, 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 no. I'm not going down this train of thought. You're not going to win. An idiot as hopeless as you is not going to get me to care about you no matter what you do. You have to understand that. Don't you? Say you understand it. You won't, will you? You're not going to let up, are you? You're going to keep at it until I accept you. Is that it? A war of attrition. I guess you're on then. <sighs> I don't even know why I'm humoring you. It seems like a waste of time. Like I'm going to be wasting my time more often than not. You know I have to go home and do chores. Take care of dinner. Huh? You're kidding me. You're coming with me? No. No, it, it... I forbid it. Good night. You stay here. Let go of my leg. Why won't you get shaken off? You really won't let go. Now get off my back. You're clinging to me like a little gremlin. How dare you? You don't learn anything. Get off of me now. Let go of me. <sighs> Fine. Then you're going to do all the chores. Do you understand? You're doing all of them. Every last one. <sighs> you don't understand. That or you're just excited to do my chores. Either way, it's a win for me, you imbecile. <laughs> I'm not insulting you. I'm just calling it exactly how it is. An idiot will always be an idiot until they learn their place, right? <laughs> you don't seem to think that way, do you? Those eyes. You can usually tell by someone through their eyes what they're like. Why do you look so innocent? No, that's a bad word for it. It's like you're, you're earnestly saying what's on your heart. Kind of like me. I hate to say it. We both speak our mind. That's why I called you what you are. An idiot devil who doesn't know their place. 
Not to mention you have bad breath, unkempt hair, completely uneven cuts of your hair. You don't even bother to take showers, and you definitely don't even understand what decency is, <laughs> let alone personal space. If you're going to be so near me, you could at least... Hmm? I never said you smelled bad, per se. Actually, you smell like cinnamon. I hate cinnamon. <laughs> Fine, I'll admit it. No, that was not my stomach. Cut it out. <clears throat> uh, so your bad breath smelled like candy. Yeah, it's still bad breath to me. <laughs> you won't get off my back. So I'm gonna have to walk with you on my back all the way home as you play Genshin? Uh, life is never fair. <sighs> if I asked nicely, would you leave me alone? <sighs> you really are a devil then. Ignoring my wishes and staying with me. How... What part of me exactly looks lonely? Yeah, I live alone. I've always lived alone. What of it? Uh, is this the part where you can say you see some sorrow in my eyes that's not there? Or the part where you make up a sob story in order for me to feel bad for you? Or is it the part where you insist on being an insufferable whelp that's always attached to me and never separates even two inches from my body? Oh, that one. Right. Fuck. You just keep on going, don't you? You don't understand that you're unwanted? Jesus. What a hopeless devil, not knowing your place. What exactly do you think you're doing, huh? Why do you think I should waste my time even talking to you? Huh? Yeah, so I'm the one filling the silence now. What changes then? We're still here, talking about nothing. What have we accomplished? Yeah, good job on the devil, I, I guess. I, I am not insecure. You're insecure. You, you say I'm projecting, huh? Yeah, maybe I'm projecting all this anger and frustration at getting a new partner who's not only a devil, but a dunce. Someone who doesn't know how to quit, doesn't know how to distance in any capacity, and keeps getting on my every last nerve. Yeah, totally my fault, right? Hey, 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 no biting. Why are you gnawing playfully on my shoulder? I, I thought I... That tickles you, imbecile. I, I'm not laughing. I'm having a crisis. Yeah, we're home. Get off of me. You're not living here. You're just staying for dinner. Do I make myself clear? Why are you running around like, like an airplane? Uh, that's my couch. You... Uh, at least take off your shoes. <sighs> you... <sighs> Why are you gnawing on my hand now? <sighs> Marking your... <sighs> How dare you mark me as your territory. I'm not anything of the sort, and you'll cease this right now before I kill you. Do you realize? I, I have the capacity and the permission to... If you're insubordinate, I... You... You're insufferable. Absolutely insufferable. What do you want for dinner? Don't look so happy about it. I figure you can at least be useful in choosing what we have for dinner. Lobster? Why would I have... No. You're not getting lobster. Mm -hmm. You have lobster? So that's what's in the backpack? You just carry frozen lobster with you? <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll make you lobster. But I'm eating one too. Got it? 
As for the side dish, we'll have daikon and... Let's see. Maybe some... Salad. Deal? I'm not enjoying this. I'm just making the best of it. It's not like I can actually get rid of you. You're insufferable, annoying, and completely deranged. You even nod on me in a weird way and seem to claim me as your property like you're some kind of animal. And yet, here we are. You in my home. <sighs> me cooking you dinner. How fucking absurd is this? Did we suddenly get teleported to hell? Is that what this is? Did I die some way midway before meeting you? Yeah, and you dragged me down, right? Now I have to take care of you forever? <sighs> I could only be so lucky. Fuck. I swear to God. This duffles every single fucking time. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. <sighs> What am I going to do now? You gotta get away from this devil, Loki. You gotta get away from this devil. This is going to be the end of you. And with how clean... Did... Did you just fall asleep? Were you listening to my internal monologue? Wait, I was saying that, wasn't I? Don't listen to me. What do I do? Do I kill the devil? No. Then there'd be too much food. And if there's too much food, it'll be hell to clean it up. Hopefully the devil can eat the shell too. Maybe. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe... No. No, this is definitely a curse. Definitely a curse. Then it's sufferable little. No. No, no, no. There has to be a solution. A way out. Surely I could talk to... M Makima. No. She'll never let me get away with it. This was probably her idea in the first place. What about a higher supervisor? Maybe the chief? No. No. There's no way out. <sighs> but would you mind giving me a bit of space? Oh yeah. I forgot you're insufferable and can't even take basic commands. You're like a dog that refuses to accept. An untrained dog. Why do you look so... <laughs> Your happiness is getting frustrating. No, I... I want you to obey. Not to... <laughs> Never mind. Just let me cook. It's almost done. <laughs> you look like you like food a lot. Well, maybe... I'll cook you some nice meals sometimes. As reward for your work. Nothing more, nothing less. Everybody needs rewards. Even... Something like a lowly devil. <coughs> Shut up. I'm obviously not accepting you. I told you that would never change. This is just... Showing my gratitude. Otherwise, this scratch on my side here would have turned into something a lot worse. <clears throat> and what of it? You sure are full of yourself, aren't you? Thinking that you... You of all people could get on my good side? Is that what it seems like? Do I seem like I'm just the buddy-buddy type? Or are you just an idiot? <laughs> Curious. Well, here's the food. Enjoy it for now. You did bring the lobster and saved me buying stuff for dinner, so I'll thank you for that. You were a pain in the ass, though, gripping onto me like that. <laughs> yeah, well... Eat at the table. Take your plate. Let's go. <laughs> Even I have to admit, you did a good job today. I got upset with you for playing Genshin while we were working, but to be fair, you didn't tell me that you were the devil of, well, something having to do with gotchas, I assume. Re regardless, you need to take your orders more serious. Do I make myself clear? Then, enjoy your meal. Lobster. It's been a long time since I ate this meal. I never thought excessive meals like this suited me. But 
I guess it does feel good not to eat alone. So your company isn't completely worthless. Congratulations. You now have two things to counter the 250 bad things. Too good. 250 bad. If you keep trying, you might become 1% of a friend. <laughs> You're so positive. How do you do it anyways? Is it that you're stupid or just looking at the glass half full? You seem naive like you've never lost anyone. I kind of envy that, if I'm honest. Perhaps that's the reason why I got upset with you. You don't act like a devil, so I'm not sure how to treat you. Hey, if you could be treated anyway, how would you want to? <laughs> That's just like you. A blissfully ignorant take. You want to be cherished, taken care of, and you definitely don't mind that I insult you. It's half pathetic, half admirable, if I could be so bold as to say. Maybe I slightly misjudged you, but you're still a devil and I'm still a human. There's differences between us. Surely even you can know that. Isn't that correct? Mm. So you're not a complete idiot, is that it? Then why do you insist on being so close to me? Is there something about me that makes you satisfied somehow? Spit it out. What do you want from me? Really? What is it that makes you so persistent on giving me that smile, even though I've told you it makes you look like a total fool, a complete idiot, a buffoon even? A waste of a smile is... You're so close. Yes. Well, you're not squeezing me, so I'll appreciate that much, but personal space... You just don't understand the concept, do you? <sighs> Fine. Do your worst, I guess. No, no, not literally. I'm not trying to die here. So, let go of me. Ow. I told you to be careful of that. Squeeze lighter. I'll give you this egg here, and you have to squeeze it, but not break the shell. That's how you should hug someone. No need? And just why was there no need? I obviously have to teach you, if you're not going to learn it. It's basic. It, you... <laughs> why... do you get so close? What is it you're even looking for? Is it that you somehow see me as a mate? Is that it? You devils are always so selfish. So why? What is it you hope to gain from me? Huh? <laughs> no answer, huh? Just those eyes staring at me. I don't understand. You push me over. You use your strength to hug me. To show pointless affection. So what is it? What's your end game with me? Why? You find me attractive, huh? So it was what I thought. More than that. In just what way is it more than that? After you finished your meal, you just pounced on me. You know I wasn't done eating, right? <laughs> you don't seem to care about that. Well, I didn't have much of an appetite anyways. That doesn't mean I'm giving you free reign to do anything. No, quit, quit being so close. It's suffocating. You know, I've never been this close to even a human. It's strange. You seem so human-like 
It's hard to remember you're one of them. I almost forgot for a moment. Thought you were just an insufferable idiot. But you're not useless. You're frustratingly clingy. You don't know what personal space is. You don't listen to me even slightly. And you're just... So... <laughs> infuriating. No. I'm not saying that in a good way. Remember all those insults? Or did you just selectively remember? It doesn't really matter, one way or the other. Because even if you don't, I'll remind you of them, if you ever ask. I'm not going to exactly hide the facts from you. I did say there's about 250 things wrong with you, and only two, maybe three, things right. And even then, you still don't seem to have a problem with it. Why? What did I tell you about this? Every single time you squeezing me, saying you're going to do something as ridiculous as that. Don't even dream of it. You think I would marry you, let alone date you. You're out of your mind. You're just a devil. Just a, a devil. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Did I give you an order to do that? Permission to do that? That's not something you just do with things? No. This is all wrong. You're impossible. Every single facet of what you are is Im impossible. Are you sure you're even meant to be here? Did you kill and replace my partner? Is that it? I'm beginning to think that's what happened here. It must be. It has to be. You can't be. <sighs> is it because I insulted you? Do you get some twisted pleasure from that? Or is it just because you're some kind of desperate devil in need of some kind of affection or love or projecting <sighs> you would accuse me of projecting when you're the one who's clearly projecting here I yeah everyone's lonely sometimes what of it it's a human feeling not for devils to even understand you're just monsters. All of you are. There's no difference, right? You're just using me. Because I smell different or look different than another human. I'm just another object to you. So why shouldn't I treat you the same way? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. I know what you're trying to say. That we're not so different. Or at least you're trying to imply it. And if you think that that's the case, then you're welcome to try and convince me. But I told you from the start I'm not going to open my heart to anyone, let alone you. If you think that you're worth my time, you're not. Get over yourself and leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I stutter? Leave. Get out of my sight. I'll see you at work tomorrow. <sighs> Even refusing a basic order. You're... Useless. Why? Because you want to stay with me? Because you see something behind my eyes that I don't? Because you feel something that clearly I'm unaware of? Is that it? That's what your eyes are saying, but your lips are trembling like that. Why do you look so fragile when you're so obviously not? Idiot. Useless completely arrogant and full of yourself. And yet, here you are clinging to me. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't get you off of me. Is that what you wanted? To force your way into my life and cause every single headache you could possibly cause to me? Is that what you're looking for? Well, you're incredibly talented at that at least. The one thing you're not useless for is being annoying and insufferable to me. No, no, you do not get to look sad after that. 
Why would I care? Wh why should, should I care? You... You're absolutely crushing me. Yes, crushing me. Your strength isn't waning, is it? You might as well crush me since you're not leaving. Go ahead, put me out of my misery then. Can't even do that right, can you? I can't say I'm surprised though. The way you've handled things is exactly what I'd expect from a devil. Well, you're an outlier of sorts, I get it. I'll respect at least that, but why? How dare you? How dare you look at me with those eyes? Pretending, putting on a facade as though you care for me. You don't. You can't. Doesn't matter how long you've been stalking me. If that's what you call it, you said you've known about me for a long time, but why? Explain yourself then. If you want any hope of escaping here, of being anything to me, you could at least explain why. Why do I mean something to you? What exactly about me is important to you? What exactly matters to you in the first place? What's your goal, your objective? What are you? Because I'm starting to doubt my own senses with what you've done, how you act. Impossible, impossible for you to... You're not just a heartless monster and that's what makes you frustrating. You're a useless, annoying baggage who just won't stop clinging to me. Did you want me to say it nicer? Okay. You're quite annoying. Extremely abundantly clingy. You don't know personal space. You eat like a slob. You look deranged and sometimes, even still, those eyes, that expression, that insufferable nature. Yes, as much as it pains me to admit it, I can't exactly hate you. Even if I wanted to. I... I just... I refuse to go beyond that point. Do you understand? Boundaries. Personal space. You don't understand them at all, do you? I'm talking to a wall again. Lovely. <sighs> so, then where do we go from here? Since you seem to be the one who always wants something from me. Nothing. What does nothing mean in this context? What? <sighs> You're happy just like this. Why? You never even explained yourself. And how you... <sighs> you knew me. You know my brother? Then you know... You know what we've been through. Well, good. Then you can know why I'm cold to devils. You know why I blame them and resent them. Why each and every one of them is nothing but a tool, including you. When you know loss, when you've lost too many, and people beg you not to die, but you die anyways. That's what I've been through. And that's what you seem to not understand. There is such a difference between us. Even if you know my past. Even if you empathize with me, that doesn't change the fact that you're a devil. You have no family, no friends, nothing. You don't know what it's like to love. Why did you kiss me again? You don't know and you admit it fully. Then my point is... You want to learn. <laughs> the devil wants to learn about love. What does it serve you, beast? What possible reason could someone as idiotic, playful, and insufferable, annoying, completely aloof and... 
Es... You know, you can't just kiss me to shut me up. It won't work. It won't work. It's not... Don't look so smug. Just because I'm letting you get away with it doesn't mean that I feel anything. Flushing. Speak for yourself, devil. I'm not blushing. I'm just unsure of what to make of you. I'm sure of what I'm supposed to feel in a situation like this. No, ironically, not because of that. Not because you're so spontaneous and insufferable. Not because I don't know what to make of you. You know so much about my history. You seem to see right through me, understanding my loneliness, my emptiness, my lack of so many human traits. Perhaps between the two of us, I was the more devil-like one at the end of the day. When you fight something, you have to become like it. When you sacrifice so many loved ones, you... You lose yourself. You lose that spark. Like you're watching them die in your dreams. Just seeing it is enough to make you cry. And the pain isn't just something that goes away. And don't you dare. Don't you dare look empathetic like that. <laughs> How pathetic. I have a devil crying with me. And what is presumed to be empathy. Is that how low I've fallen? <laughs> crying with the enemy. Huh? Working with you. Feeling like I can't hate you. Frustrated over how... Sometimes it just feels... Like you're... Not a devil at all. Like you're something much more special. Like you have a heart in there. Like it's not just emulating and mimicking. Like you really do care. Even if you say it, you think that would be enough to convince me, devil? <laughs> You'll show me. And just what would you do for me? What could you do for me? You're my partner, not... My love, do you understand? You can think of me in any way you want. You could feel for me what you think you feel, but it's nothing. It's nothing until I believe it. And you've got a lot of work to do if you think you can convince me of that. Why do you look so happy? For what possible reason? Could you look so happy when I'm giving you bad news, a hopeless road to follow, and you look like you're the happiest, smiling for me, even through the tears? What is the point of it? What's the point of you? Why are you even... You just... You make me even more confused. Like, I don't know what to feel or think. It was so much easier just dividing things. Humans are good, devils are bad. Why do you have to come into my life and make it so, make it so complicated? Why can't I just end you like all the other ones? <laughs> Why do I have to feel something for some loser like you? You're just, just a idiot. An idiot who doesn't know when to quit. A warm, cozy idiot that I hate. How much I'm okay with you clinging to me. I hate how it makes my loneliness disappear. I hate that I... I can't hate you. I hate that you know me so well. That you feel so real when I know you can't be dull. You're just fooling me. You're gonna stab me in the back. 
You're gonna teach me a lesson, aren't you? This is just the final nail in the coffin, and I don't think I'm strong enough to resist it anymore. <laughs> because as shameless as it is, as much as I hate that I can't hate you, I can't. In fact, I think you're way too cute for a devil. Fuck. I hate it. It feels so wrong, and yet... It's probably the safest I've felt in a long time in your arms. I... I... Fuck. How embarrassing to break down like this. To feel so empty. Yet feel so happy to get it off my chest. Do I seem pathetic to you, devil? Do I seem like the most weak and frail human you've ever met. <laughs> you would be the one to comfort me, wouldn't you? Comforting me when I have literally nothing left. I don't know if you just are an idiot with a big heart or the most cunning devil I've ever met. But whatever you are, I guess I'm at your mercy because I don't want you to go away. No, I don't want you to go home. Stop. I said don't go out the door. I, I was being serious in what I said. I do hate that I can't hate you. You're insufferable, annoying, completely off-putting and extremely cute fuck I hate so much and what I hate most of all right now is that I think I like you I think I like you don't make me say it again I hate you but I like you, but I, I, I can't even mean the first words. Even if I tried to hate you, I think it would be a fool's game to even entertain the idea. It would be like hating someone who gives you hugs all the time, or who genuinely seems to care. Even if you're suffocating, you... Have a nice hug. I'll admit it. But still, fuck you. Yes, still, fuck you. Do you not understand why? You have no sense of boundaries, and you stole my first kiss. So, I'll do what I do to every devil in my own way and get my revenge. I'll steal everything from you, devil. Fine. I'll call you by your name. I'll do it. No. Despite you, I'll give you a name. Your name from now on. I'll be the... Idiot. You just let me cheap shot you like that. Stealing a kiss like it was nothing. And then looking like... Like it meant everything to you. Do I look like some kind of idiot right now? Or... Am I just supposed to take responsibility? Is that what your eyes are telling me? Tell me... Say it clearly, devil. What do you want from me? <laughs> I see. So, all this time, it's just... that. You... 
you're either the smartest or the dumbest creature I've ever met. And I don't know which. You're definitely the densest, and certainly the laziest, and possibly the one that gets under my skin the most. Even among that, I hope you don't expect me to treat you nicely. I'm going to be mean, you know that, right? Hmm? <laughs> don't look so happy about that. Damn masochist. <laughs> but I guess even I have to admit defeat. Just this once. Then... I finally... I... Shut up. Don't look at me with those eyes. Now I'm not saying it. And it's your fault. Idiot. Useless. You... Impossible little... <laughs> Stop making me feel like this. I order you to stop being so... so adorable. No, I said nothing. It's not what you think. I... Fine. But don't say you didn't ask for this. Because if you do, then all of that... Wouldn't you at least say, why, why do you even treat me this way? What am I to you? <laughs> Idiot, am I supposed to take that kiss as an answer? And just what does that mean? Fine, suit yourself. But if you don't say what you want, I'll have to interrogate you more properly. If that's what you wish, then I command you to stay here with me. From now on, do I make myself abundantly clear? Good. Perhaps you'll make a partner instead of a pet. And perhaps I'll be able to see as what you want me to. Maybe I'll fall for your trap. And maybe I'll be the one to betray you. You never know, idiot. You never know. I hate that I can't hate you, but I... I... won't deny how I feel. And it's all your fault. Take responsibility now. What kind of... If that's the kind of responsibility you mean, search yourself then. But don't say I haven't warned you. This... This isn't what you... <laughs> Useless, stinking idiot. Mm. What do you mean? Whatever. If you're going to do something... Then do your worst. Go ahead. <laughs> I've faced scarier devils than you. And, well, I've never faced anyone like that. But, I'll face you with everything I've got. God, this sounds cheesy as hell. Even I have to admit that. But, it's your fault, you know. So I'll only ask you one last time. Take responsibility for your actions and... Tell me. Show me. Do your 
worst. <laughs>